how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, my name's Ella. I'm from the UK. I want to, I want to listen to you to get, yeah. I, oh, I want to listen to you more. Because my, uh, my problem is that I want to listen to native speakers, how they mm -hmm. express some things. Because, oh, like, like, yeah. Do you have a particular example? Is there anything in particular that, you know, mm -hmm. you like, uh, like if I ask you any question, you answer and I listen to you. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess any questions you have, feel free to uh, ask. I will ask you, then maybe I'll try answering after that. Okay. Okay. Um, well, what is your favorite way to relax after a long day? Um, I'd probably say um, just uh, watching a film or watching something on TV, uh, maybe having a nap. Um, yeah, things like that. Mm, okay so um so after a long day right why mm -hmm. in english you have the phrase long day um because i guess if it's just a day then people would assume that that's um like a normal day so um you know i guess to emphasize if it you, we use the word long to emphasize if you know maybe if it's been a busy day or mm -hmm. maybe you've had to do something for a really long time um and maybe you're a bit exhausted afterwards so yeah but i guess if you were to just say what do you do uh, after work then it might be something a little bit more um casual or i don't know maybe there'd be something the answer might be different depending on the person but Normally, if you say long, like after a long day, then you're emphasizing the fact that somebody might have had a stressful day or they might have had a really busy day or, you know, there might have been something that, you know, disrupted the fact that they've had, you know, mm -hmm. disrupted their normal day, if that makes sense. I see. Okay, okay I understood. Mm -hmm. Oh, my next question is, what is your most memorable, memorable travel experience? Um, well, last September, I went to Marrakesh in Morocco and I went with my mum and my sister. That was really good because um, it was the first holiday that we've been on since um, COVID. So it was uh, nice to sort of right, relax and uh, we stayed there for two weeks. So it was good to just, yeah, uh, relax by the pool and visit somewhere that we hadn't seen before. And yeah, it was really fun. It was a really great experience. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, if I think, for me, the best travel experience I had, mm -hmm. maybe uh, uh, I don't, I haven't traveled much, but uh, last year I, I, I went to, I went to Delhi mm -hmm. with my friend. Uh, so we stayed there for, uh, for a week, mm -hmm. and. It was a fun time. Yeah, we traveled uh, around Delhi and and um, and some beautiful places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you like to spend your weekends? Uh, well, uh, I spend my weekends a lot of the time working, uh, doing Cambly. Uh, but when I have a weekend off. Um, I'll try and see my friends and, and catch up with them. So maybe go out for something to eat or um, maybe go out in the evening um, and mm -hmm. go to a club or go to a bar or something. Or, uh, you know, if I don't want to go out in the evening, then maybe I'll uh, go shopping with my mom or um, maybe we'll go out and have lunch somewhere. But yeah, that's if I've, that's if I've got a weekend to myself. But a lot of the time I'm working. <laughs> mm, I see. Yeah. Uh, it is quite similar to me. Yeah. Uh, I usually spend my day working on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Right. Only if I didn't have any work, I would just go to park or walk. Yeah. Because yeah. I normally don't do that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's trying um, to make, make time for yourself, isn't it? All right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, what is, what is the most challenging thing you have ever done? 
Um, oh gosh. Um, most challenging thing. Um, I mean, maybe I could say when I did my degree, um, I did my degree in film studies and uh, maybe degree more. in degree in films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Film like to make movies. No, no, it was more um, theoretical. So it was more about like film history or um, mm -hmm. philosophy and and uh, and those kinds of things and ethics and yeah, it was more like about like uh, writing about certain films. But I'd say once I got into my third year, my final year. Um, I had to dedicate a lot of time uh, to uh, my studies and um, essays and things like that. And I also had a dissertation, uh, mm -hmm. which is a big uh, final project where you pick your, what you want to write about. So I think that was about 10,000 words. So that took a lot of time. Um, but yeah, it was challenging because I, I kind of had to prioritize that over, you know, spending time with friends and uh, doing other things. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of um, a lot of time and effort and work. But in the end, I felt that, you know, it, it paid off because mm -hmm. I, got a, I got a good grade at the end of it and I was able to graduate, which was great, which was really good. So, yeah, I'd say that was the most sort of challenging thing that I've had to do that sort of comes to mind. What about mm -hmm. you? For me, a uh, challenging, challenging thing that I have done is learning English, mm -hmm. actually, um, because I did not learn English in my school days. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not fortunate enough. Uh, but uh, when COVID happened, I, I dedicated myself to learning English. And while learning, I went through a lot, you know, the process. And when I uh, it took a lot time to get this level where I'm right now. So, mm -hmm. so in the process, I learned how to learn a language. So I got myself into teaching as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yes. really good. Um, you few of the words from you. Dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've come towards the end of the lesson, but it was really lovely speaking to you. And I hope you have a, a lovely rest of your day. You too. Oh, thank Bye. you.